All right, so we're checking out the only game that has no idea what the hell its title is. It's maybe music band manager. I really don't know. When I bought this game, it showed up as something completely different. It was like musical album tycoon, whatever, new game, damn it. <laughs> Choose your genre. I appreciate that every single genre is represented in the most inappropriate way possible. Wow, they're doing everything here. You've got hypersexualization and absolute stereotyping. <laughs> The rock girl over here has some extremely blunted spikes on her shoulders. You know, you can't kill anyone with these. These are like, these are like the, the PG-13 spikes or something. Pop is, I don't know what this is supposed to be. This is like Taylor Swift. If every shirt that she wore was a lower cut shirt than what she wears. Hip hop does have the gigantic, like 40 inch across bling gold necklace with the dollar sign on it and then electronic music. What do I say about this? We're picking electronic music. Is this like who I am or is this just the type of music that I make? Nope, that's probably who I am. What is nightmare mode on this? Nightmare mode is when you're making electronic music and you're you're 45 or 50 now and you realize that you, you actually haven't gotten anywhere yet. It's all about the music though. What good is money? I mean, unless you gotta eat and stuff. Yep, this it's confirmed. I guess this is my character. I find it kind of odd that it didn't give me the opportunity to pick my own appearance, but you know what? Sure. This is the name Cordelia Kelly. God. You know what? I don't care what I look like. I'm picking like names like we normally do. Joseph Level Jello. There we go. Does it randomly generate my band members because so this is a fantastic group of individuals making- Oh, we get to come up with a musical band name, too. I feel like being unoriginal is the most original way to name a band. So I'm just gonna music band name. There. Oh, there's a tutorial. Congratulations, you made it. You formed a band. Now we are in our studio. This is where we make history. Let's see what we're capable of. Let's not. <laughs> What the hell? I, I exited the tutorial and I completed my work as a consultant in a music store. I'm starting to wonder if this is one of those games that has no continuity at all. What are we rehearsing? You've improved your skills. Is this one of those games that plays itself? It's gonna make my job really easy. We have Adam Lambert as our drummer? That's right, everyone. It's music band name featuring such A-list talent, such as Joseph Level Jello II, Alfred Page on the keyboard, Dwight Blake as the DJ, and Adam Lambert as the drummer. Apparently, I've got a local private party gig tonight. I don't remember signing this, but it could have just been the drugs. What does work do? Work in a courier service. <laughs> right on a real bike? What the hell? Train your rock stat by 5.93 to 8.81%. Neon glasses improves the quality of playing the genre electronic by 5%. I mean, hold on. How do I even put this on? There we go, Joseph. You get to wear these neon glasses. Now, maybe everyone won't look at your startlingly large rack. Yeah. Record a song. You have two songs available that haven't been recorded yet. Okay. Again, this is one of those instances where I don't really remember what happened but quite frankly, I guess it's not a big deal. The name of the song is Growing Up. The genre is electronic and the theme is holidays. Oh, write a song. Here we go. Choose the theme of the song. Traveling? Is this like moving from where you live or like basketball? Or is this a, I don't have any music talent or knowledge. Is this a thing or is this just literally traveling? You know what? Love is the theme of the month. Oh, hell yes. Rotary, reverb, techno mix, put all that in there. So now you have the slider 007 where we decide who gets to do what. Now, I, I I think I'm the front man over here, so I get the most. Everyone, no one ever gives the keyboard or any friggin' credit. Oh, for the love theme, it would be, <laughs> we better the D -day. DJ doesn't take part in writing the song. You know what, keyboardist? I changed my mind. We love you, DJ, you're a jerk. We gave a two and a half star concert over at the Z bar. Wait a second, is that like a, is that like Zanny Bar? Like any good musician, I don't remember doing any of this. They give you an auto an auto-generated title called Poisoned with Love. This is probably better than anything I can come up with. But I'm still gonna try. Don't kill your wife. How many spaces do you get? Oh, that's all. 
Oh, we can now perform at the Langerin Villa. It's, it, there's less drugs, but a slightly higher chance of getting shot. Look at this crap. Once upon a dream, growing up, the song quality, all this stuff is 12s. I make a song called Don't Kill Your Wife, 36. <laughs> Moving to China costs $1.75 million. I've got like 300 bucks. We've got a long ways to go. Recently, I read an unflattering comment about our music. One doesn't have any respect to creative people. <laughs> One doesn't have any respect for English translations either. <laughs> hey, our concert's done. We got three stars. We also got two t-shirts sold. Again, I don't even think I have a manager or anyone doing this. I'm putting most of our month's rent into buying you a new keyboard. Please don't screw this up. <laughs> what the hell? The song themes completely change. Now we have traveling, positive, social, and dancing. Social. Talking to people is hard. Actually, it's not hard because it only allows me to have this many characters. You know what? I'm gonna let everyone finish the sentence themselves. You can go ahead in the comment section and finish it. Talking to people is blank. By the way, I saw you in the wet tree. <laughs> Why are these comments here like this? Who is this guy? We have a manager? You decide to have a photo session with exotic animals. By your carelessness during the shooting, a huge tarantula has fled. What will you do? What kind of game is this? <laughs> Shrug and leave. We're going on a spider hunt, people. You feel guilty and are involved in the search. The animal is found. Everyone is happy except for me. I don't know what this means. Oh, this game. I think we have to write one more song. I need to take my mind off of the, the exotic animal shoot that we just screwed up. Discoloration. That's the name of the song. Why mess with a good thing? We'll now be playing this train wreck of a song as well. Oh god, I missed some sort of storyline. Now I'm in the middle of it, and the middle of it is just Congress doesn't meet every year to make death worse. This game is trying to be so deep, but it can't because you can't understand what any of the dialogue means. What is the chart? Oh, Green Day's actually on here with American Idiot. These are real songs. Avril Lavigne. It's like, what is it, like 2000? 2001? Community manager. Make a video about karaoke. Some members of the group drank a little too much alcohol, and in the video, it was obvious they were pretty tipsy. Some fans didn't like it. How come all these are apologetic? There's no option here to just lie. Write a post with apologies. Speak at an event for a healthy lifestyle. Tell the truth. I'm gonna pick this one because it has the least amount of letters. Your sincerity has melted the hearts of fans and stopped complaining about the video. Lies, I know how YouTube works. Oh, I can sell a song? Like for how much? They're prepared to give us $150 for Don't Kill Your Wife. Sure. Hey, practice with a synthesizer, sure. Why is there a 4% risk? What does the risk do? Our tour manager looks like Don Provolone if he got collagen implants and was also homeless. Monthly report, you're down $196. Great. Our community manager, otherwise known as a very young Matthew McConaughey, says this is one of the best ways to proclaim yourself at the initial stage of your career. However, the crowd supports another group, your arch rival. Perhaps we should draw the attention of the crowd in another way. Can we shoot them? Speak to the fans. Distribute coupons for free pizza. Jump into a crowd of people. That's a talking time to write a friggin song. I want to start writing songs like Pitbull. I told my wife one time, a Pitbull song has three things no matter what it's about. It has about all the money that he's made, how he travels all around the world, and all the different women that he has sex with. Go ahead, look at any Pitbull song. Somewhere in there you will find these three things. They're like the three ingredients that you'll find in like every single cake. They're his sugar, his flour, and his butter. I have a deer tattoo. I thought I already had a community manager. Do I have to hire him again? Was he not was he not technically hired in the first place? How about this image manager guy? Your children's photos are on the net on one of them people saw oh my god. What the hell? This is pretty freaking serious. This should be the answer. We can't really call ourselves Mr. Worldwide because we're a tiny sucky band. So I'm going to call this Mr. County Wide. 
No one wants to hear about growing up. This song is about dancing. They want to call it flashing lights, but I'm going to call it epilepsy. Someone wants to pay $3,800 for epilepsy? Okay. All the fans out there, I'd like to play a lovely song about incontinence. These are the reviews. Not the must die for record of the year. Not a terrible album. These songs are riddled with so much cliche. You sh sub vocalists of the famous DJ. <laughs> you can choose a song for filming. Our hit single is incontinence. Our album selling are making legitimate money. Our singles, I think I spent like five grand to make this awful film and we're making like $18 a week off. By the way, you went to the opera yesterday. How was it? You know, opera is such a thing. It starts at 1900 hours and then two hours later, you watch the clock and it's 1950. Burn. <laughs> Photo session in Popular Magazine. We came through very original photographers who are ready to offer you several shooting options. Nature, unnatural poses. <laughs> yes, 35%. The fangirls are simply delighted, although their first reaction to these photos was silence and a wide open mouth. Got a new traveling song. I guess I'll just call it Ebola. Yesterday I got bored and I decided to surf in Facebook. Under the photo of a random guy, I wrote, you don't love me at all. Today I got 300 more friends, including his wife. Seems like something a girl with a deer tattooed on her thigh would do. Our lineup of songs is so screwed up. It, it's counting scars, incontinence, blood poisoning, smallpox, Ebola, and pink eye. I'm gonna sell smallpox to fund our eventual album here. Great, the award for the best album is Kelly Clarkson. You folks did this. What do you know? The best single is Kelly Clarkson as well. I just made a new album. I keep forgetting to name these things. So the name is American Three Solitary Man. <laughs> Very emotional. It's miserable, but magnificent. <laughs> what? There are a couple of really good songs. The rest is some of the worst stuff I've ever heard. We managed to get into the top 100? How? When did this happen? Oh my God. Music band name with their hit album, American Three Solitary Man. <laughs> The song they want me, the song title they want me to use is It Gets Better. My answer to that is no, it doesn't. Why does this guy just have a wad of cash hanging out of his pocket? If you walk through New Jersey, that shit would be gone in about five seconds. Kelly Clarkson is doing everything, so I guess with a pop artist. The fact that I haven't released a song yet about Starbucks is a friggin' travesty. There's nothing like a beautiful bonfire. Yeah, and watching the evidence burn. <laughs> what? There's times where I think that they didn't translate a lot of the dialogue correctly, and then there's times when I think that they absolutely translated the dialogue correctly. All right, it's time to record the greatest album that's ever existed in the entire universe. Incurable sadness. All this. The single is Starbucks. <laughs> Just worth owning some of these reviews. Bunch of dicks, incurable sadness by music band name is number 49 on the charts. <laughs> We're moving. This place sucks. How do I get out of here? We're going to West Europe. Oh, never mind. I need more freaking money. Now we're going to West Europe. Oh, we have a legitimate recording studio now. I'm not in the basement anymore. Holy crap, you make thick stacks here. Starbucks releases at number 66 in the single area. After all, the, after years of loneliness, I finally worked out a great dating strategy. I pretend to be gay. I'm going to make tons of chick friends. Get them to trust me, tell me everything. And when they haven't got an ounce of suspicion left, boom, what? What the hell? Yeah, you'll get their boyfriends, idiot. <laughs> what is this? Celebrities, performances, fashion show, movies, screw it, do both. Well, we did it. We moved to West Europe. I guess that's my biggest accomplishment at this point because I don't know exactly what the hell any of this game is. Somehow we, we were in the top 100 for our single and our album, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm gonna leave you with her boobs. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of whatever this game was called. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.